Average daily time spent on smartphones is 273 minutes, which is over 30 hours a week. What? Average person checks a cell phone 110 times a day, which is over 40,000 times a year. Even better, average user click, swipe, and tap their phone 2,617 times a day, which is over a million taps, clicks, swipes per year. We are officially screen junkies. I had enough, so I did this. Man! Life without a phone is quite a hassle. No calls, no messages, no calendar, no videos, no music, no clock, no maps, no to-do lists, no mobile bus tickets, no adult content. Wait, what? What? Wait, wait what? You didn't... I didn't just... <laughs> Think about this. An average person checks their phone every seven minutes. And after every interruption, it takes an average of 25 minutes to get back to the original task and to focus. That, that's, that's insane! We'll never get any quality work done that way. But without my phone, I have zero distractions. Which means, you guessed it, laser sharp focus, quality work, and yes, more saved time. Because I'm able to finish my work a lot faster than I would with those endless distractions. It's dope, it's lit, it's mind blowing. You have to experience it to understand <sighs> it. This guy's actually pretty good. Consider this situation. It's a beautiful day and you're strolling around listening to the latest single from Miley Cyrus. All of a sudden, you see your friend. So naturally, you start talking. Just some lovely chit chat. But after five minutes, you start to get bored. Your mind starts to wander and BOOM! You remember that you have your phone in your pocket. So, you check your phone and send a few messages to your BFF. Then, you act like nothing happened and continue discussing with your friend. But after 5.6 seconds, BOOM! Your BFF replies to your message. Again, you try to continue the discussion, but your BFF is relentless. Boom! So you need to reply again. And this loop then continues to eternity. And guess what happens to the level of the discussion? I can't whistle, but still, you, you get the point. That doesn't happen when you don't have your phone. See, your only source of entertainment is the other person. Your phone is not there to save you from awkward silences or boredom. So what do you do? Well, you try to make that conversation worthwhile. Every conversation becomes more meaningful and valuable and distractless and superb and, and nice. Listen carefully. Abandoning your phone and social media enables you to go from comparison into self-reflection. What? What? The hell? What? 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 Well, let me explain. First, let's think about our social media behavior nowadays. We all know how it goes. First, we might open Facebook. 
And then we wonder how our friends always seem to have the time and the budget to travel in at least 18 countries every year. Then we might open LinkedIn just to find out that people our age are billionaires and own at least eight businesses. And as our last resort, we then open Instagram and wonder how our friends get hundreds of likes to photos like this. This is the game we play day in, day out, even though we know it's harmful for us. But when you abandon your phone and social media, something miraculous, miraculous, mir miraculous, something amazing happens. When you can't see the constantly updating Facebook and Instagram feeds, you move from external valuation to internal valuation. You start to witness your life through your own eyes, not through other people's social media feeds. In short, you start running your own race. Today's world is noisy and it is harder than ever before to live your life without constantly comparing yourself to others. I think it would be beneficial for all of us at least once, maybe just for a week, to experience how it feels like to not compare your life to other people's social media feeds. And that is what happens when you dump your phone on social media for a while. That's all. Five days without my phone. Can you fathom that? That's 4,752,000 seconds, or 79,200 minutes, or 1,320 hours, or 7 weeks and 6 days, or 15% of 2018. I think the key question is did I miss something without my phone? Because Let's be honest, one of the main reasons why we are so afraid to abandon our phones and social media is FOMO. So if I didn't miss anything without my phone, that means, uh, that means, that means, that means that there's no valid reason to not abandon your phone. Except that you can't really communicate and you have no friends without your phone. Those are just minor disadvantages. So let's see. What a transition that was. First things first, facebook.com. No, do not care about the comments or the new photos. No, added new photo, no. Added video, no, no. Uh, 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 uh. So just to summarize uh, Facebook, 100 notifications from past two weeks and 98% of these notifications are about me being tagged in a photo or people commenting on photos that are not my photos, or people posting photos that are not my photos, or, or people having birthdays, or people inviting me to events, and all of this is unnecessary for me. Next up, let's do, let's do WhatsApp. Well, okay, there's just like one chat with 927 messages. There's a lot of, a lot of messages from girls here. <laughs> Uh, yeah, nothing urgent, I'd say. Let's check Instagram. I don't think I have any notifications. I'm just not that popular in Instagram, you know, I just, I just, I just say. <laughs> and the final thing, let's go to LinkedIn. How is my professional network doing? What? 60 notifications on LinkedIn. 33 new connection requests. What? What? That's insane! My professional network is booming! And it's all because I didn't have my phone and I went and gave a speech about it. So ditch your phone, give a speech about it, and your network will gr grow like crazy. Look at this! <laughs> nothing, nothing too important. Again, the same thing. Woo! So, all in all, I'd say I missed nothing. Nothing. 55 days and I did not miss a damn thing. Think about that the next time your FOMO starts creeping in. That's it. What the hell do I do now? If you, yes you, if you have a challenge, a productivity challenge for me, drop a comment below. And by the way, um, remember to... Uh, uh, I think subscribe. I have seen uh, yeah, enough. Unsubscribe and then resubscribe. That should do it. The only problem is that I have no idea where the phone is. So, let's start here. 
I already found it. Oh my god. Ugh. We are reunited.